Hello everyone, this is Mahang Sangvi and I am back with another Framework Manager tutorial video. In our previous video, we learned about how to create a first FM model or first FM project. And in this video, we are going to check all the files which is created for our first FM model project. So I think you know how to create a new FM model project and in this video, we have to check the files which are created in our framework or in our first FM model project folder. So let me open the folder. This is my FM project folder or this is my first FM model project folder and inside this all this file is related with our FM project or our first FM project. And this is the main important framework manager project file. So this is the main file which is pointing to other XML file. This file is also an XML file or a XML file but with different extension .cpf. So let me open this and select a program from a list of stored programs and I want to open this in Notepad. And here it is. This is my first FM model.cpf file. So this is a plain XML file, and this XML file is pointing to other XML files available in our folder or in our project folder. So let's say uh, this is my control F model I am looking for model model and this is model data and I am looking for H reference and here it is model segment dot Excel H reference model dot XML and our model dot XML file is available just here so let me edit this and this is the file where you are all the query related subjects or the queries are going to be saved. So let's say let me import or let me create a namespace. Let's say namespace and I'm going to name it test namespace. Okay. That's it. And let's save this FM project. And now it's time to reopen our model.xml file. And let me copy this name and find this name inside your model.xml. So here it is. So this is my name local dot English name space or uh, test name space name. Okay. And if you are able, if you are going to create more stuff, so let's say you created another namespace inside this and then you get another namespace inside this so all this information is going to be stored in your model.xml file so let me save my project first let me save my project first and now we have to reopen our model.xml file so let's say edit and this uh, is my model name my first FM model and inside this I have few namespaces this is my test name namespace and I have another namespace here new namespace okay uh, I hope you are now able to understand what exactly the model.xml contains next the session log the session log contains all the session related activity in our uh, the current session related activity so let me delete everything from my namespace and let me save this now what i did in this session i created three namespaces and finally i deleted all three namespaces so all this information is stored in your session dot uh, session log dot xml and you can check the session log here so view transaction history and 
these two file uh, log and session log the what is the difference between log and session log log.xml contains all the previous or all the uh, previous changes done in the fm project and my session log is contains the current session changes and the session log is refreshed every time you save the file so right now i have nothing so let me close this first and create another namespace and this time i want a namespace let's say my first namespace okay and I, this time i'm not going to save my project and again open the view transaction history and now my session log contains create a namespace with name new namespace in model and then rename set namespace property name of object new namespace to my first namespace so session log contain the current session activity and our log file contains all the changes or all the previous changes okay so set the default local to english no i uh, i don't want this i don't want this uh, i think here it is set the project property name of object is okay uh, this is all related to create fm project uh, i am interested in this create a namespace with name new namespace and set the namespace property name of object new namespace to test namespace this is our first namespace which we created and then we created a namespace with new namespace one and we created uh, i think we created two namespace mm, create a namespace with name new namespace and the 12th step is create a namespace with new namespace one okay now finally what i did i deleted multiple objects okay now if i want to reperform all this step then what i have to do simply i have to save all the step in a script or it is a xml script so let's say it is a test or recreate my previous items okay close this view transaction history log and then again go on projects and click on run script and now i am going to select recreate my previous items and this xml file contains two step create a namespace with name new namespace and then rename it to test namespace and our new test namespace created successfully and i want to accept this changes and this is this log is very important in case if you by mistake you delete something and if you want to re or re import something okay so i am going to explain all this in coming videos so this is just a brief about all the available files in my project folder i think now you are able to understand and you are able to explain anyone or you are able to answer what files are located in your fm project if you like this video don't forget to subscribe and click on like button feel free to share with your friends and see you guys in next framework manager video